located. Test it out on a deep core T energy reservoir on the North Plains. Braddock out. The wind turbines in the South Valley are frozen over again. Someone let the road know. He's neglecting a Tommy in it. Shocker. Gracie, I'm so sorry I worried you. I'm fine. I just found myself off the grid for a spell. Nothing I planned on. It's a long story. And you'll hear it, I promise. Just stay strong, doll. Talk soon. Looking like a fine place for a deep core reservoir. Insane. You've outdone yourself this time, no doubt about it. 
Here's how it works. Once you start the drill, you'll have a limited amount of time before thermal pressure collapses the pocket. So keep the rig functioning at all times to get every last drop of T energy. The rig won't self-repair while platformed, so you'll have to make repairs by hand. Wait, why will I need to make repairs? Uh, about that. See, the deep core drilling causes intense vibration, so you'll likely attract, oh, every acre in the area. Probably should have mentioned that earlier. Whoops, have fun, gotta go!
Deep drilling's complete. I got a full tank. Excellent work, Jim. James, it's Roman. It's time we met on that topic we discussed earlier. In fact, it's urgent. Come see me at my pod as soon as you're able. James, thank heavens you made it in time. There's a storm heading this way within the hour, and I need you to plow right into the center of it. Of course you do. Do I want to know why? I need to attach sensors to your rig's winch, so time is of the essence. I'll explain while you're on your way to the top of Shack's Peak. All right then, get in your rig. I'll fill you in as we go. All right, you should see coordinates on your HUD based on where I expect the eye of the storm. Get moving. So what's the skinny, Doc, since when are we storm chasers? Since I heard every crewman at Corona is buzzing about the big quest for pure tea energy. While that fool Kenny is playing mad scientist with the acrid, he's utterly failed to see the storm patterns for the clue they are. If Braddock had just bought me some more time with Nevik, I'd have been able to prove there's low impurity tea energy within the storms, and lots of it. If storm is even the right word for them. The storms don't fit any natural weather pattern I've seen. They come and go so quickly, with none of the wind signature you'd expect of an emperor class atmospheric disturbance. It's as if they somehow have a trajectory. They do seem to come out of nowhere. No, James. Just the opposite. Oh, Doc, you may be blowing my mind a little here. A perennial danger. But with your help, it's time to stop guessing and start hoarding data. Those custom sensors I installed on your winch are going to run a host of tests to help us figure out precisely what we're dealing with once and for all. With a little luck, we'll find some way to help Corona stay standing in the process. All right. Not like it'll be the craziest thing I do today. Heavy cargo successfully docked.
Okay, Doc, I'm in position. It looks like I'm right on time. Fire your winch at the tower and give it some time to collect the data. Your rig's going to act like a grounded relay for lightning. Don't worry, you should be safe. Doc, we got company. Flyers. They're swatting at the winch like a cat toy. That's no good, James. You've got to keep the sensor safe until they finish. Can't do much from in here. Seems calm enough on the ground, though. Eye of the storm, right? Wish me luck. Good luck. Let's fly off. something strange about these acrid. They're different from the others I've seen. A different cube. Brighter, maybe. Well, don't forget to use your DNA tag on them. They could be part of this puzzle, too. I was trying to put Hank to sleep, and I heard your message come in, and now that I know you're okay, I'm a little bit ridiculous right now. Fly to your back on the grid, whatever that means. I love you. Catch up soon.
James, come look at the contaminant readings. They're practically non-existent. This may be the purest reading we've ever seen. The prize Coronas is looking for is in the very thing trying to knock them down a crevasse. You're telling me these storms are somehow powered by the purest tea energy on the planet? You sure that's good news? Good or bad remains to be seen. But if we find where the storms are coming from... Maybe we find the mother load of pure tea energy. And while Nevek uses it to solve the energy crisis on Earth, we get rich and get home. Sure. And also lay eyes on one of the rarest, most mysterious wonders of the universe. If you're into that sort of thing. Yeah, totally. <laughs> that too. I'll take some time to fully pass all the data we just took in. I'll let you know what comes of it. Meanwhile, I hate to send you off empty-handed. Gail here. I got that part repaired for you if you want to come pick it up now. It was a... I'm Nerissa Rock. And I'm Arthur Beagle. You're listening to GPR, Galactic Public Radio. Broadcasting and podcasting around the solar system, thanks to the generous support of Neo Venus Construction and listeners like you. On tonight's broadcast, a look back at the Kettleman Mining Colony 30 years after the depletion. Quarterly energy figures are out. Is the crisis worsening? And austerity riots continue to spread. What protesters are demanding now? All this and more on tonight's All in All. Here you go, dude. Thanks for helping me keep my ancient water purifier controller skills sharp. Says without a trace of irony, Oh, you must be the weather girl. <laughs> Oh. So, I'm staring daggers. He knows he stepped in it, but he's too daft to figure out why. Oh, sorry, weather woman? <laughs> Finally, I say, well, my doctorate's in atmospheric sciences, so yeah, I'm the bleeding weather girl, thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dry, poor me. 